passive income is a lie. We're going to deep dive into that today and I'm going to explain to you why. Here we go. Hello, I'm Alan Spicer, your favourite YouTube expert and I'm going to tell you that passive income is a lie. We've all seen it, those big videos, all that grand big design idea that you'd be sat there in Mauritius or Marbella on a nice hammock with a cocktail with your feet up, all whilst something's earning you income. So you can spend as much money as you want and you just keep supping away at what other martini and little umbrella drinks that you can master. Your free days are filled up by you walking along the beach and sunbathing and skydiving and skiing and snowboarding and rah, 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 rah. Yeah, I'm sorry to say it, Jimmy, but that's a lie. But making four to 500 videos over the course of three, four, five years, picking searchable topics, making them evergreen content, making them useful, making them tutorials, or them being entertaining enough that it entertains someone, that it lifts their mood, that it makes them laugh, that it makes them share. The balance between education and entertainment, allowing you to create a back catalogue of videos that can have adverts on them that are family friendly, that build, that are optimised, that can be found by search, and then the adverts run against them, and then you get a little tiny slice of the pie per thousand views. That is passive income. That is the truth. Buying one course that's going to teach you everything that that expert knows that's going to take you from not knowing the industry to being a millionaire within a year or in 90 days or how to buy things or how to sell things, that is a pipe dream. That is a lie. No matter how many individual webinars you go to, no matter how many expert courses you buy, the only person's pocket you are lining is theirs. They may have some useful information, but that useful information, is it truly worth 50, 100, 200, 500, 1,000 bucks? Or could you have searched that, researched it, read the books yourself and got it for free? But building a brand, and building a portfolio over a period of time based on your reviews, based on your hard works, based on your referrals, that truly is some form of passive income. Yes, I know it's not the passive case of hands off, but the way it works is I've been in this industry for web development for around about eight, nine, 10 years. I've been in the consulting world for about three, four years, and I've been creating videos on YouTube for myself and other creators on another eight, 10 years. The way that works is because people know me, people refer me. Go and work with Alan. Oh, Alan can help you with that. Or when they come to me, I have a strong sales pitch because I can point them at my portfolio portfolio, point them at my clients and show them, look, I did this for them, I can do that for you, and it means I don't have to do so much of the legwork to bring in the leads. The leads kind of find me. It's a passive sales team, and then I convert, I sign them to a retainer, and then I have a business that continues to mount on its income, that does better than last year and the year before, and this year is hopefully doing better than last, and will do better next year and next year, all of which builds. And as long as you're playing the long haul game, as long as you're investing in you, your brand, your videos, and your content, they will continue to come for you and come to you. All while those videos that you made, those four or 500 that you made in the last point, are still making you some kind of passive income, some residual money through adverts and through blog posts and through sponsorship deals. Drop shipping is the way to millions. That's right, if you just buy one product in China and then sell it on Amazon at 17 billion. Now, I'm not saying this is a lie, but it's much harder than they make it out to be. All of those adverts that you've seen, maybe even seen at the start of this video, where they're like, hey, wait, don't worry. If you just buy this one shoe shiner, if you just buy this one coffee machine, if you just buy this one unicorn headpiece, you can flip it for X amount of bucks more than you did. Drop shipping can work. But the whole idea of you just buy one product and you plug and you play and you have these people talk to these people and you get the money passively, that's a lie. If you've built a network to supply that, if you've got your own product or your own supply line, then fine, it is made a little bit easier. But you can't just tomorrow decide, click, 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 oh look, I've made 400 pounds today. You've got advertising, you've got promotion, you've got brand awareness, you've got search engine optimization, you've got promotion in general. This mindset of some form of mass click funnel that you could just turn on, leave alone, throw some more money in it to speed it up. That's not how it works. Drop shipping can make people lots of money, but it is all about the research. Have you got the right product at the right time? One of the biggest success stories I'm aware of is there's one dude in the UK that does the yeah boy 
t-shirts, which is the Ainsley Harriet t-shirts. Now, if you're in the UK, you know exactly what I mean. If you're not in the UK, it's a weird meme. Ainsley Harriet is a chef in the UK that's quite outlandish, but he's also quite loved in the British like Psyche. He's been around for a while, he's not been on TV as much, but he's got a quirky personality. So people have started memeing him, putting him on t-shirts, putting him in weird situations and saying inappropriate things next to his head. But in the UK, he's kind of this meme legend. And this man creates t-shirts and hoodies out of these memes and does really well. But that way he's got one niche, one idea, one tap to turn on. And he turns it on around about Easter and around about Christmas. And he does really well. He fulfills the orders via Shopify, and then he goes away. If he was gonna do the rest of the year, he'd have to think of other things to do, and it's the scarcity that gives him the advantage. If you can only order Ainsley Harriet Christmas jumpers once a year, then you're gonna pile in at Christmas. If you can only get Ainsley Harriet summer jumpers and t-shirts at the start of summer, and then he goes away, once again, it's the scarcity of the joke, of the meme, of the product, and then he disappears. And you may never see that design ever again. That can be seen as a digital product or a product in general. If you truly want to make passive money in that fashion, why not create products? For example, in the very near future, I'm going to release some form of template package in which you'll be able to get your thumbnails, your channel banner, your intros, your outros, all of the little graphic works that you can see, and it's hopefully being sold for, I don't know, 10, 20, 30, 40 dollars, maybe even more. But the idea there is that I can mention it or it can be linked down below. I've made it once, I've put all the effort into it once, and then anyone can buy it over and over and over and over and over and over again. That generates a recursive, automated, not passive, automated income. And the more of these little products that I can create, the more you can buy from me. The more they are helpful for you, the more I've piled my skill into something to then remarket it. That's no different than someone creating the idea of an iPhone and replicating it over and over again. The difference here is if it's a digital product, you're actually selling, ironically, almost the same thing over and over and over again. Again, it's the dream. You put the effort and the hard work into the product and then since then the overhead is done. You just host it and you distribute it. This could be a product, this could be a service. In my case, I also do channel reviews. I do consulting gigs. I can look at your channel and look after it. I can manage it for you. I can help give it a, a full health check and MOT and go through every fine detail. That's my day job, that's kind of thing. I talk to people telling them how they can create content and stuff like that. But your service could be anything that you do in your niche. You could make four to 500 videos about maintaining a car. You're a mechanic. They see that you're doing very, very well. And then you can either train people to become mechanics or you can go and fix their car or create an online video course teaching them how to fix their car teach them how to become a mechanic a taxi driver a real estate agent passive income is a lie unless you put the legwork in enough to automate it and then it's almost passive for more ideas on how to make money including affiliate links there's a video here remember to subscribe for regular business tips and tricks